Hi, I'm Amir Hossein Mirza Bozorg, and in this video, I want to talk about using a structure technique for meshing and partitioning 3D solids in Abacus. This is the table of content. Example 1 is creating hex elements on a sphere by using a structure technique. And example 2 is meshing and partitioning a part of a cylinder. And finally, I talk about meshing complex geometries. In this video, two examples will be meshed by using a structure technique. In each example, at first the geometry is partitioned and then it is meshed by using a structure technique. First example is creating hex elements on a sphere by using a structure technique. At first, I will create the sphere in the part module. Its radius is equal to 1. I create the sphere and then I use three datum planes for partitioning it. And then I will create hex elements on the geometry by using a structure technique. I go to Abacus CAE to do these steps. I create a new part. It's 3D, deformable, solid, and I use revolution technique. And the approximate size is equal to 10. At first, I create the origin of a sketch plane. Then I create a 180 degrees arc. I use this tool. And I create two straight lines. Then I specify the radius value. Now the sketch is completed and the revolution angle is 360 degrees. Now the complete sphere is created. I go to mesh module. I must create three datum planes and each datum plane is parallel to one of the xy, yz and xz planes. For doing this, I use this tool, create datum plane offset from principal plane. Offset is zero. Three datum planes are created and I use this tool, partition cell, use datum plane for creating partitions. First plane is used. Second plane is used. After creating the second partition, still the color of the sphere is not changed. And finally, I create the third partition. After creating the third partition, the color of all of the regions is changed to green. So I can use a structure technique for meshing the part. It is meshed successfully. Now I go back to the slides to explain the second example. Second example is meshing and partitioning a part of a cylinder. As you can see, this is the final sketch of it. And I used a datum plane for partitioning 
the geometry and finally hexahedral elements are created. I go to Abacus to do these steps. I go back to the part module. I create a new part. It's 3D, deformable, solid, and I will use extrusion technique and approximate size is equal to 200. I create two complete circles and I specify their radius values. Now I use construction lines. The sketch is completed. Now I import it to the mesh module. At first its color is yellow. That means we can mesh it by using the sweep technique and there is no problem. But I want to use a structure technique. So I must partition this part. I use this tool for creating a datum plane. As you know, in the 3D space, by using three points, we can define a plane. Now I use this mathematical rule for creating the datum plane. I select the first point, second point, and finally the third point. And I use this datum plane for partitioning the geometry. The color of all of the regions is changed to green and I can mesh it by using a structure technique. Now I go back to the slides. Now I want to talk about meshing complex geometries. As you have seen in these examples, after creating partitions, the color of some regions have been changed. In a complex geometry that includes several partitions, the assigned color to each region does not mean that if you use the related technique to mesh that region, the region is meshed successfully. Actually, several factors determine that whether you can create desired pattern on a region or you cannot size of seats and their pattern, uh, if the bias is used or not, shape of neighboring regions, meshing techniques that are assigned to neighboring regions, and finally, which neighbors have been meshed first. This is very important in meshing complex 3D solids. And you must consider these factors for creating high quality elements and hexahedral elements on complex 3D solids. You can contact me by using Telegram and WhatsApp and you can send email to me. We can have one-on-one -on -one tutoring on the AnyDesk WhatsApp and I can make a special videos to your order. We can perform high quality simulations for your thesis, exercises, and industrial projects. Thank you so much. Goodbye.